Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at bringing walls up to sloped ceilings. So, as with many things in the SketchUp world, there's several ways to do this process. There's a lot of different ways that I could actually take uh, my, my floor plan, my walls, and pull them up to a ceiling. Uh, there's actually some extensions to do this, but uh, it's not a difficult thing to do with native tools. So I just wanted to run real quick through my process so you can kind of see exactly how this could work. Let's check it out. All right, so to start with, I have some walls here. Um, I actually have a couple different roofs here too that we're gonna look at. Uh, but first, we're gonna do a simple thing. I have this, I know you wouldn't build like this. This is for illustrative purposes only. I have my, my roof here already modeled and done, and then my walls down below. Um, my walls down below, I have two groups, exteriors and interiors. Again, this is just how I tend to do this. Um, I don't like having everything together. I like having these separate properties. Depending on what I'm building for, actually I like having each wall in its own group, and then in a separate group, pulling door or interiors and exteriors uh, apart. So uh, this is the way I do it. So we're gonna look at it in two separate groups. Now, obviously this is this is to show, you know, this is step, step zero, then we'll look at step one and step two. Um, if I look at my walls here, I'm gonna double click to enter this group. If I'm pulling up to a flat surface, it is really as simple as push, pull, drag it to there, done. Actually, I should probably do interiors first then, uh, grab those. Pull those up, just any any point on there, that's it. Exterior, same thing, grab that right there. Pretty simple, if I was to hide this roof, I would see all my walls come up to the right height. I can also push pull up to a height, that's, that's simple, right? Like I said, that's square one, that's just bringing walls up. Now, right here, what I have is, uh, maybe this is a, I don't know, like an, an eye joist or a framed roof, raftered roof. Um, where it's just a simple slope and everything comes up to it. Fact is what we're gonna do right here is the same whether the roof is a simple, just a single slope like this or a double slope or something like this. So over here, we actually have a bunch of different uh, vaults. So a bunch of different heights happening. Same process, I'm a little, I feel crowded right now. You, feel, you guys feel crowded? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide this over 25 feet. All right, Whew, give me some space. All right, so the way this works, it is pretty simple. It's not, it's not a difficult process. Um, again, I'm gonna come in here. What I'm gonna start with is bringing these up just arbitrarily real high. Um, so I'm just gonna pull these up. Doesn't matter, they don't even have to lap or meet at the same height. Just bring them all the way through whatever the ceiling plane is. So now what I wanna do is, so there's some stuff I could do if, if everything in here was a solid, right? So if, if the walls were a solid group, the roof was a solid group, I could do some intersecting and some subtracting. Um, I could do the same thing. I could uh, intersect with planes. We're gonna do it a couple different ways. So let's start with intersecting planes. So I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna do, let's say, view. I'm gonna go to component edit and hide rest of model. So I just see my, my roof. So all I want is the ceiling planes. I'm not concerned about the rest. I'm just gonna grab these two ceiling planes and right click, and I'm gonna, actually I'm just gonna say, edit, copy, and then I can close that. Now I'm gonna go into the exterior wall group. That looks good. I'm gonna say, edit, paste in place. That takes a copy of those two planes and puts them in the context of these walls. Now, this is the, the there's, there's two steps left. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is right click and say reverse face that's gonna put the white faces going up. And then what I'm gonna do is just gonna select everything, right click, intersect face with selection, and then all I gotta do now is select the tops of these walls. So the, the further you bring these up, the easier it is to select and delete them. I'm gonna hit delete, and then just use my eraser to get rid of these extra chunks. And there we go. Now my walls come up. This is a little weird. That this uh, that wall's right down the middle, so it kind of got cut there. Probably won't build it like that, but uh, you see how that brought it up, copied perfectly, perfect, just the way I needed to. All right, <clears throat> let's look at using solid tools to do the same thing. 
So in this case, I do have a fairly simple example here, which is how we teach. Um, but this roof is a solid and this, ooh, this one's not solid. Let's, let's check out why that's not solid. See if I can figure out uh, what happened here to make this not solid. Um, because I do have to have a solid to close this up to make this work, I do have to assure that everything's solid. Anytime you're working with solids, I highly recommend this tool right here called Solid Inspector. It's a free extension. I would say check it out and make sure, uh, uh, you know, it checks to see if there's any issues. Um, my issue right here is, is these two right here. I just got to pull this out like that. There we go. Now I got a solid. All right. So with that, this is now a solid. This is a solid. All, all I have to do, I'm going to do this. I'm going to hide this, hide my exterior walls. Now I'll just see these two pieces. It's still there. They're, I, they're all there. I just, just hit them. So what I would do is select my cutter first. This is the cutter. I'm going to go up to tools. I'm going to go to solid tools. And I'm going to say subtract. I want to, I'm sorry, trim. Subtract will throw out my cutter afterwards. Trim is going to keep my cutter and just trim it out of this. So now if I open this one, look what that did. It just cut that all out of there. So I can just triple click this section, delete it. And now I have those ceiling, those walls hitting the ceiling. Go edit, unhide my exteriors. And now if I hide the ceiling, you'll see everything meets that same way. Now, the cool thing is that this can all be done regardless Again, simple ceiling here, same thing can happen here. So this is obviously a more cut up roof. There's a lot more going on, but the process is the same. So let's, 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 do, let's do the same things we did before. I'll take my exterior walls, run them high like that. And I'll go into my roof and I'll select all my ceiling planes. I'm flipping right upside down. So it's any of these planes that are gonna hit. And I don't have to grab the vertical planes because those will never intersect a vertical another vertical plane. Um, all I need is these horizontal ones, or not horizontal, they're sloped, you know what I mean. The ceiling planes, not the vertical ones, just the ceiling planes. I'll say, uh, again, edit, copy those, come in context, edit, paste in place, select it all, right click, intersect face with selection, and then I can just grab and delete those tops. Oops, this is why we reverse planes. Look at that, see the, see the problem, see the problem? See what it did? That was me, that was all me, I did that. Not in a good way. I forgot to reverse the plane, and that's why. So when you intersect, right, unlike uh, cutting, cutting those people, whoops. I had a wall that wasn't closed in that one. Um, so unlike cutting uh, with solid tools, what this actually does is it maintains the chunk of that original plane. So easy enough in this group, I can select a face and say orient faces. It should flip them all to white. Um, hey, nothing like nothing like my mistakes to uh, help you see what you should do. Um, that looks pretty good. All right, and let's uh, let's check out those ceiling or let's check out the. Uh, is this solid? Let's check that out first. No, it's not solid. So let's take a look at why this isn't solid. Flip it around. Look at it a little bit. Try solid inspector. Uh, turns out somewhere inside here we got a stray edge. So I'll say fix that, delete that stray edge. And then we now have a solid group. I'm going to again hide the exteriors. I didn't pull this up yet. So I'm gonna pull this in here, run this long. And then again, same thing. The issue with solids is by definition a solid, each edge connects only to two faces. The problem is this line right here defies that. So this, this edge right here going down between these where these two walls meet actually connects one, two, if I spin around, three, four faces together. So this finds, it says it's not, it's not one piece because that happens. So the simple solution is to just kind of connect the two together like that. And then now we have one solid piece. Um, all right, looks good. Solid group, solid group, select this one, tools. I went really high with that. That's really too, I mean, but it'll make it very easy to, to select and trim. Trim that out of this, 
and then come into this group. I'll just triple click this top, delete. And there we go. So now I'll say edit, unhide last, and then just hide this roof again. And there we'll see, yep, see all those, all those different vaults. This isn't necessarily how you would build the walls. Um, you might have to go in and do some, some cleanup or changing your frame down from the roof. I don't know. But uh, as far as intersecting the ceiling planes that I had created, that's how it works. So there we go. Push pull, uh, copying planes and trimming, and then solid tools to get you nice looking vaulted ceiling wall, ceiling meeting wall, ceiling meeting walls, walls, what meet ceilings. You know what I'm talking about? So there you go. Um, this is something that came out of a live stream. Actually, uh, if you don't join us most Friday afternoons, Friday noon mountain time, we do a live stream where a member of our staff gets on and does some modeling and we love hanging out with you guys. You guys get to join us, give us your tips, talk us through issues we're running into, show us how to do things. Uh, and we get to do a little bit of the same for you. Uh, join us. It's, it's a lot of fun and, and stuff like this comes up. We, we end up modeling some real life scenarios uh, pretty much every week. So uh, check it out. It's really cool. And uh, if you haven't already, please do click like down below. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. Have you done something like this? Is this a new tip for you? And uh, what else do you think we should make on these videos? So there are other workflows or processes you would like to see. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.